Morning, welcome back. Okay, not sure what the title of the video is going to be yet, but if it happens to be what I think it's going to be, let me just get this out of the way. I don't want to be the person sitting on my YouTube throne implying other people are unattractive. Who am I to judge other people looking like this? It's like the popular saying, the sexy handsome pot calling the weird looking kettle weird looking. Something like that. Things just kind of happen, and the topic I covered in my last video happened to influence my algorithm and what it started shoving in my face. It was disturbing, intriguing, and I just had to talk about it. It's not really a continuation or a part two, but more of an afterthought you have after an argument, when you finally think of the perfect comeback you could have said. Damn you brain for being so slow. So a disclaimer to all you gamers, me included, you are not ugly. You just need to fix your posture and maybe drink some water. You've been sitting in the same spot for seven hours and only blinked a total of 10 times. Stop with the Genshin Impact because the smell is impacting the ozone layer. Put the Minecraft down and craft a bath. And technically I actually haven't called anyone ugly. I just talked about how society and science did. The real villains of why were also appearance obsessed. Back in the day, if you were smart, studious, played video games and wore glasses, TV shows and movies would portray you as the unattractive nerd with no social skills. The Steve Smiths and Tina Belchers of the world would be the first thing you'd picture in your head when you think of a gamer's aesthetic. <laughs> Sometimes they were right. I was an anxiety-ridden, half-nerd, half-emo teen playing MapleStory obsessively. With the rise of content creators and live streaming in the gaming sphere, there is some pressure to look your best if you're showing your face to a large audience. In 2023, with our Instagram-trained mindset and beauty-filter-driven economy, gamers are now seen in a different light. It's nothing innovative or super amazing like a Philips Hue light bulb. We just moved the spotlight to the other side of the room and found the good-looking gamers the media never showed us. They do exist. So why am I talking about this? Well, according to science, the stereotype of gamers having ancestors related to Gollum might actually start coming true in the next few decades if things stay the same. Meet Michael, the future gamer. Hey you, you look great. I like your shirt. Everyone meet Michael, a visual representation of the future gamer. We at OnlineCasino.ca conducted a study and predicted how avid gamers could look in the next 20 years if they didn't change their lifestyle habits. From sleep deprivation and dehydration, to lack of vitamin D, digital eye screen, and PlayStation thumb. These are just some of the physical implications of spending hours online in a gaming chair, away from the sunlight and physical activity. So, how serious is this? We reveal Michael the future gamer of 2040. What's even more horrifying than how Michael looks, no offense, is realizing that 2040 is only 17 years away. At first I thought this was one of those scare tactic articles written by boomers, talking about how video games are a bad influence on kids and how it's affecting their development. Looking into some of the sources they use, there is some truth to this study. We got research from the World Health Organization, an article from National Geographic about gaming disorders, all of these symptoms of what excessive gaming can do to you. I don't even want to know what hairy ears is supposed to mean, we'll actually come back to this later in the video. Speaking from personal experience as someone that tends to go overboard when they get interested in something, you ever accidentally look in the mirror at some point during a week-long binge of playing The Sims? It's like one of those before and after photos of someone that got plastic surgery, except you're not even the before photo, they look fine. You're the one hour into recovery photo. You are Michael, or Michaelina, or they them Michael, everyone has the potential to morph into a lizard person. Well, some of these symptoms can be caused by doing non-gaming related things too. Black rings under eyes and bloodshot eyes from eye strain. Well that's just me not sleeping anyways cause I'm just busy playing Animal Crossing. Hair loss cause you're not going outside enough, and the body doesn't have enough vitamin D to stimulate hair follicles for hair growth. I mean even if I didn't play games I don't go outside that much anyways, I'm busy watching one hour YouTube videos of video game lore I never heard of. Hunchback and rounded shoulders. I was just born like that from sitting too close to the TV when I was 10. Play Mario Kart. PlayStation thumb, blistered fingertips, and Nintendo arthritis. How much do these companies pay to get their brand put in front of these popular joint diseases? With how expensive advertising is, in this economy, must be nice, one can only dream about having their very own advasion scoliosis. Varicose veins and swollen ankles from sitting in the same spot for too long. You never eat or drink anything. You never go out in the sunlight. You have pale, ghostly skin. How long have you been 17? Wait a second, isn't that? Say it. I know what you are. Gamer.
according to Limelight, which I am never using again to pirate anime movies from. Why is this mp4 file clearly labeled the Naruto movie a Snoop Dogg music video? The average gamer spends 6 hours each week playing online video games, which is an increase of 19.3% in the last year. Gamers in the UK play the most, which is 7.15 hours per week, with many even becoming addicts and spending up to 18 hours a day online. So this Michael thing is a projection of a chronic gamer taking the extreme. You're only going to end up looking like this if you play video games more than you sleep. There's no way someone would start looking like this already. We still got 20 years more to go. What was that? Recently, a streamer named Kurtos shaved his head for charity, which is very commendable, well done, and he found a little surprise underneath his hair in the form of a weirdly formed head shape. Dude, the shaver's working like a champ. Dude, I have like an indent right here. This is where my headphones go. I have a fucking headphone indent in my head? What the fuck? I always thought that was just my hair. I thought it was just my hair did that. One of the main symptoms of Michaelgate that everyone's talking about is having a dent on the top of your head. It's because of those Gorilla Grip headphones that everyone's using. Consistent light pressure built up over a number of years could cause an indent in the hair, skin, and skull if stressed long enough. This means that overuse of headsets during gameplay over 20 years could cause deformation. This is why I'm glad I didn't go bald after bleaching my hair for two years straight. Who knows what kind of skate park scenario was under here. I'm a backsleeper, I might unknowingly be carrying a ski slope back here. And it seems like we got a lot of popular gamers doing head reveals recently. This is what plastic and rubber cradling your head like a face hugger from Alien will do to your scalp. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, maybe the dent is that bad, I don't know. Hey, that's enough dent memes. Look, I got a haircut. Look, this- it looked this bad because I didn't have a haircut for a super long time, but I just got a haircut. M, M just gave me a haircut yesterday, so now it won't be as bad. God, dude! Is it really just a 24-7? Look, it's gone, it's gone. It was never there. It was, it was never there, we're fine. Okay, this one's actually not too bad. I think it's mostly the hair that makes it look like a skateboarder's dream halfpipe. Pretty sure 2002 Avril Lavigne wrote a song about this. If you don't have a lot of natural headgear in the form of hair follicles, you might notice the dent on your head might be dentier than usual. Why you should not use headphones too much. Headphone dent reveal after 12 hours of streaming. I hope it's not too bad. It's not that bad, right? My skull has changed shapes! Oh no! Is it bad? Oh my god! Not that bad. Oh, I have a dent in my clock! You don't have a dent, bro. I have a dent! It's a indent, that bro. You don't. Okay, well- Oh my god, you do. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, no, no, that's just because your hair is- Jeez, this angle was so bad his friend couldn't even lie to him. Does that hurt at all? It looks like someone actually stepped on his head. Bro, it's in my- like, in my head! It's just, my skin's going down. Wait, yeah, what I... if you wear a headset for like long periods of time? Can you get stu stupider? Get dumber? I, I, I mean- Does this- hurt the gamer, it looks painful. Maybe we are just all made out of Play-Doh. I don't think anyone's ever checked before. Doctors and morticians watching this video on a Friday evening, can we get a fact check in the comments? You have a dent in your head from your headset. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there a dent in my head? Dent? Wait. <gasps> no! From all the things I learned from 5 Minute Crafts against my will, all you need is some ramen noodles and glue and you can fix any dent, even a head one. This guy even used a plunger. You know what, maybe I can suction it back out. <laughs> 
Ah! If you're Asian, just put some Tiger Balm on it or Vicks Vapor Rub, then you'll be fine. The popular streamer Tyler1 is well known for having an interestingly shaped head within his community because of his constant headphone usage. He said that he's even worn his headphones for 16 hours a day before. His audience even made memes about it. Actually, here's why I think it looks bad on stream. Where you wear a headset, look. You like push it in, it pushes the side of my head in. Look. So it makes my head muscle pop out more, even when I take off the headset. His head shape is in a constant state of change. Would you consider it a solid or a liquid at this point? Is that what the numbers are for in his username? If there's a Tyler 1, there should be a Tyler 2 and 3, right? What happened to the original Tyler? First face reveals, the next thing you know, we're gonna get belly button reveals. The good news is that this head bent thing is only temporary. Unless your headset is wrapped around your head as tight as a Chipotle burrito, the pressure from it can't actually change the shape of your skull. If you were a baby or a soft shell crab, then maybe. You do need around 16 pounds of force to cause a skull Fracture. If Razer or Logitech actually made a headset that could produce that much force, you're gonna have to classify it as a hydraulic press. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Yeah, that way. You ever go into a nap coma for three hours by accident, and when you wake up, there's blanket marks and indents all over your arms and face. In a way, it's a similar concept. The skin on your head does have elasticity to it, so when you press on it enough, you'll eventually leave an imprint. Some of these head dents do look very bad, like a Looney Tunes bit when the coyote gets an anvil dropped on his head. Just kind of silly and goofy looking, you know? It's a very superficial change. Just give it a few business days and your head should bounce back to normal. There, there. This meme can't hurt you. It's only a meme. Speaking of how headphones can cause the uglies, did you know they're also the reason why hairy ears are a symptom of too much gaming? Due to poor air quality and lack of circulation, more hair is likely to grow around the ears. This is a defense mechanism the body is creating to protect from dirt and debris it no longer feels as removed. Why are our bodies so dramatic? Like, evolution, calm down, please. We don't need to fight against predators or environmental disasters. Okay, well, we're gonna stay away from gaming and not become 12 to 16 hour a day streamers. There. Easy fix. Uh, sorry to break it to you, but if you're watching this video, there's a chance you could be using a computer and not even realize. A small portable screen with touch controls that sucks up hours of your life to no end, and it all fits in the palm of your hand? Oh my god, what's that? <coughs> on one side we have hardcore gamers, and on the other side we have doom scrollers. This is depressing, because I think I might be both. I checked my screen time recently and... Oh boy, I am exposing myself here. My average hovers around 9 hours, but how did I hit 12 hours this day? Please let me know what your average screen time is so I can convince myself this is normal. We can all be Michaels. If we all look the same, no one's gonna be ugly. We'll all have head dents. This profile shot of Michael actually shows something called tech neck, or text neck, or in layman's terms, nerd neck. I don't even know what a Lay's man's is. Isn't that the guy that made Lay's potato chips? Most of us probably start out with good posture when we sit down, but after an hour or so, it's a lot more comfortable to just start slouching. You're probably even doing it right now. According to studies, technic happens when you're looking down at a screen or your phone for long periods of time. If you're looking down at a 60 degree angle, that's about 60 pounds of force being placed on your neck. These bowling balls we call our heads are pretty heavy. That's also the equivalent of an 8 year old child. So parents, you might want to rethink carrying your kids on your shoulders during your toddler chicken fights or whatever you do with your kids. Many, many people are using their necks in a poor posture or a poor position, doing many things. Over time, he says, Tech's neck can lead to early spine degeneration, even surgery. Just ask Todd Snyder, whose neck pain became unbearable. I realized that I was on mobile devices for one to two hours a night, even more, just checking my emails. Uh, doing notes on the computer, texting friends, responding back to colleagues. <laughs> One to two hours, that's like easy mode. Not to brag, but with my screen time, I'm not even gonna have a spine in the next 10 years. It is reassuring to know that the majority of these things can be prevented. I am a little scared. I don't wanna look like Michael. Will I be limiting my screen time, computer usage, and getting a healthy eight hours of sleep each and every night now? Obviously, no. I'm a YouTuber, I got bills to pay. You try being an influencer for a day. Try being an influencer for a day. My content creator brain and mental health ain't gonna sabotage themselves. Well, another day of me talking about weird things on the internet I find interesting, and another video where you feed the YouTube algorithm by liking this video. You're basically feeding it nutrients, so it doesn't end up looking like a love child between a sexy vampire and a disappointment. Your engagement helps me pop up on your recommended when I post new content. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one.